Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to export LinkedIn posts likers and commenters to turn any LinkedIn post like this one into a clean CSV files with profile links, names and job titles. And make sure to watch this video till the end because I will also show you how to add professional emails to this file and how to use this technique to build a real LinkedIn lead generation strategy. So the first step here will be to copy the URL of the LinkedIn post. Don't forget that, we're going to click on the three dots here then copy link to post. With this URL, we're going to go to texo.com, which is a LinkedIn automation tool, which offers a 14 day free trial. So you can do this tutorial for free. I will leave the link in the description. So you're going to create an account. And once you land on the main page here, you click on LinkedIn, then you write like on the search bar and you're going to select extract likers of a LinkedIn post. Then Texo will ask for two informations here, the cookies and the post URL. The easiest way to send your cookies to the Texo app is to download their Chrome extension. Go here and click on Get Cookie Extension. Click on Add to Chrome, Add Extension. Go back here, refresh the page, and then click on Get Cookies, and your cookies will be automatically imported here. Then you can paste the URL of your post in case you have only one post. If you have several posts, you can either upload a CSV file or a Google Sheet URL. Here we only have one post. So we're going to just paste the URL here and click on extract likers. Then we see that the extraction is launched and we just have to wait a few minutes to receive the CSV file. Once your results are ready, they will appear under the results tab here and you can click on results. Here you will see the preview of your file and you can click on download CSV to download it. And now I will import it to Google Sheets to show you the data. Drag and drop the CSV file here and click on append to current sheet and import the data. So here you will see the link of the profile URL, the full name of the likers and their job titles as well and your connection degree with these people. That works for the LinkedIn post likers. For the LinkedIn post commenters is exactly the same thing. You click on LinkedIn here, you write comment and you select the extract LinkedIn post commenters here. It can be interesting to extract commenters because they have shown a higher level of engagement in the post and they are most likely to be more interested by the topic they commented on. For those of you who want to make this more than a one-time thing and transform the extraction of LinkedIn post likers and commenters into a real LinkedIn lead generation strategy, I will show you how to search for relevant posts, export LinkedIn post likers and commenters with their professional emails, then upload your list into an automated outreach tool to reach out to this prospect. And I will also give you copywriting templates for these campaigns that will guarantee a good reply rate. First step of our LinkedIn lead generation strategy here will be to find relevant posts with relevant likers and commenters to send messages to, to sell our product or services. So for that, we're gonna use the LinkedIn search and click here on posts. Then select days posted and select past week and click on show results. Why we select past week is because we are going to send messages to these people. So when we send the messages, we want them to remember the post we are mentioning. The most interesting filter here will be from member because it will allow you to target posts from influencers in your niche or posts from your competitors. So for example, here I can look for a post from Justin Welsh who is a LinkedIn influencer. And if I sell a product or a service related to one of his posts, I can extract the likers and commenters. And here you can see that you get more than 1000 here. So a lot of people to reach out to. And to get the link of the post, you do like I've shown you three dots here, copy link of the post. So what I would advise you to do is to make a list of all the competitors and influencers you have in your niche, write their name here into this filter and look for the post and see if there is potentially some prospects to extract from the likes and comments. Now let's take a look at the other filters. So we got content type here. You can target a post containing specific medias like videos, images, live videos, articles, documents. Personally, I don't use it because I don't mind about the media, I just mind about the topic, the content. That's what makes uh, the likers and commenters uh, relevant or not. What I prefer to use is from member, from company, or mentioning member, uh, mentioning company. You can uh, see all the posts from a competitor, 
here, specific company. Let's try with, for example, I know that this company, which is a LinkedIn lead generation tool, has uh, some like and some comments on the post on, on their company page, nine likes. The only risk with that is that you get a lot of likes or comments from uh, the team. So that's why I prefer mentioning member and mentioning company, because here you can see posts, influencers post about a service or two. So let's say I want to see people who talked about Everboot uh, during the last week. So if I filter on that, I can see that this person here made a post about uh, mentioning Evibut and made a poll, which was which LinkedIn scraper tool is the best. So here, if I am a competitor of Evibut, this post is a gold mine for me because I can uh, scrape the likers and commenters and then reach out to them saying, oh, I see you uh, liked or commented this post about LinkedIn scraping. So do you use Evaboot or another tool? I built uh, a LinkedIn scraper tool, which I think is really good. Do you want to try it? Something really simple like that. You get a super good reason for outreach. You get good timing. So you are guaranteed to get a good reply rate. The last uh, filter that I recommend you to use is Otter Company. Using that, you will be able to target all the posts from people within a specific company. That's the case of uh, Lemlist. Within Lemlist, there are several people that uh, post a lot. If I select Lemlist here, I will get posts from several people. This guy here, growth manager at Lemlist, uh, the CEO of Lemlist here, and I guess uh, these people here maybe put uh, Lemlist partners. Yeah, like this. Certified expert and agency partner at Lemlist. That's why they, they appear here. If you are, again, a competitor of Lemlist, this is a gold mine for you because all the people that work at or with Lemlist and end post on LinkedIn will appear in your feed here. Just got to copy the links, extract the likers and commenters and reach out to them. I almost forget to tell you about this one, but it's really interesting too, is the author keyword. So for example, let's say you want target post from a specific job title. So let's say I want a LinkedIn post posted by HR. So I click HR here and then if the person that posted the posts has HR within one of its current job title, then it will be here. MBA HR, recruitment specialists, human resources, actively hiring. That can be a good idea to find icebreakers. Instead of, for example, going on LinkedIn search or going to sales navigator to find prospect, you can write the job title you are targeting here. And then all your icebreakers are in front of your eyes. You just need to comment here, then open the profile, send a connection request or a message mentioning the post. And as the post is fresh within the last week, obviously the person will remember it and you will get a good chance to get a reply. Okay, so we covered the first part, search for posts. Now we're gonna see how to export likers and commenters, but this time we have their professional emails. For that, we're gonna head to Texo again and we're not gonna use a spice, we're gonna use a recipe. Simply a recipe is a combination of spices and the spice is an automation. So what you're gonna do is going to chain several automation to get the final file that we want. So we're gonna start by this automation here, extract likers, put the post URL here, the cookie, and then we're gonna chain other automations. So let's build this workflow from scratch, guys. Okay. So first I have my cookie and the LinkedIn post URL I wanna scrape here. So now I'm going to chain automation to get the data I want, to get the email. So I need a first name and a last name and company URL. So for that, I need to scrape the LinkedIn profile. I had the cookies. And then here I'm going to link the data I scraped the previous automation uh, with the profile link. Then I'm going to uh, extract data from the company page as well, because I need uh, the domain name, the website, uh, to increase my change to get the email. So here I'd scrape a LinkedIn company page, had the cookie and the company URL, I get it from the LinkedIn profile scraper in job company URL here. Then I get first name, last name, domain name, all the data I need to find the email. So I click on email here, find an email address, first name and last name, I get it from the profile scraper, first name, here, last name, domain, I get it from the company page scraper. Here, 
And then I need to specify a Google Sheet to send the data to. So I'm going to take this URL here, put it here, click on configure and select the account of the Google Sheet. So here I have it on my professional Eva boot address. So I click here. Then you name your, your automation, click on save, and then you can run it here. Get a confirmation message. And here you can see that the automation are started to run. It won't take only a few minutes this time, probably one hour or two, because there are a lot of operations uh, to make in this automation. But at the end of that, you will get a file with uh, LinkedIn post likers, commenters, their profile information, company information, and professional emails. All right, so we search for relevant posts. We export the likers and commenters with the professional emails. So now you can either prospect uh, these people manually sending emails or LinkedIn connection requests manually, but there are also a lot of LinkedIn automation and email automation use you can use to automate this operation. And I'm going to show you one right now. To automate my LinkedIn and email outreach, I personally like to use LGM, which is a multi-channel outreach tool. So you can use LinkedIn and email within uh, the same tool. So here, let's say we're gonna uh, use our file to launch a prospecting campaign. We can build a prospecting sequence just like this. And here I got different action. So for example, I can start by adding people here on LinkedIn. If they don't accept my connection request, I can send them an email. But if they accept my connection request, I can send them a LinkedIn message after that. So you can see that the tool is pretty intuitive and you can build a lot of scenario with that. Especially you can switch channel when you don't get a reply. If you don't get a reply on LinkedIn, you can switch to email. If you don't get a reply with email, you can switch on LinkedIn. Instead, it's a super efficient way to, to increase your reply rate. I won't make a complete tutorial on multi-channel outreach right now. If you want to know more about it, a link will appear on the top right of the video. But basically you can play around with the tool. You can even add social action like liking posts or stuff like that. But mainly if you just use connection requests, send messages and emails, you will be good. As you understood, you can get pretty creative with the seconds builder here. Now what we need to do is to uh, upload the leads. So here I didn't took the file from Texo because uh, it's too much time to wait. So I simply took a file from a, a sales navigator export from Eviboot. So here we'll download this file and I will add here, create an audience, create a new audience and say import from CSV. I will drag my post here, remove the header. And then I need to map the column. First name, last name. This is the professional email, business email. Save so here. If you want to add other fields in your campaign, you can, but the most important are the uh, LinkedIn URL the email, first name and last name. And you can personally uh, just keep everything else because I don't use that as variable in my campaign. But once you've mapped all the colon, you can click on import leads here and name your audience like LinkedIn post likers here and your audience will be built and all the leads you put in this audience will go within uh, this automated message sequence. So. We've seen how to search for posts, how to export uh, likers and commenters with their emails, how to upload your list to an automated outreach tool. Here I've mentioned LGM, but you can use any tool you want. Now let's see how to write your messages. And we are going to do that uh, inside LGM. Well, let's say for our first email, we can here insert variables into the message. So let's say I want to say hello, and then I can here insert the first name of my lead. I reach out to you because I've seen your recent comment on that post. And here we can say recent because we have uh, filtered all the LinkedIn posts on the past week. Let's say you want to maybe send a URL of the posts. You can store that in a custom attribute like custom attribute one. And here you send a URL of the post so the prospect can clearly see which posts you are, you are, you are talking about. And then here will uh, come a bit of personalization. Uh, if we take the example of the Eviboot post, uh, so the, the pool we saw before, we can ask like, I'm curious, did you vote for Eviboot or do 
you use another LinkedIn scraping tool. And honestly, we don't need to do much more because here we don't we don't want to start to sell right away. We want to start a conversation. And this reply will give us a lot of information saying that, oh yeah, I, I voted for Evaboot is the, is the best tool, I think. Or no, I don't like Evaboot. I prefer this tool because I prefer these features. And then you can use this reply to craft your sales pitch behind. For example, let's say, oh, I don't like Evaboot because they don't do this. And then you can reply, oh, by the way, my tool does that. So maybe you want to switch to my tool. And that way your approach is super relevant. And obviously you won't get 100% reply rate on your first message. So you need to add follow-ups. And for that, super simple with uh, LGM as well. Now we're going to uh, add another email step and say that if after seven days, we can modify here. If after four days, I don't get a reply, I can send a follow-up like, by the way, I am asking this question because I've built a LinkedIn scraping tool. I'm interested in the problems you currently face with the tool you are using. Then we keep that simple approach, asking question, not selling anything. We uh, want before giving the medication, we want to confirm that there is a pain. If the user is super happy with the tool, we got no chance to sell. So we just need to confirm first if there is a problem with the tool that is or the service that is currently used by uh, this person. And then if there is a problem, we can start selling. And that's how guys, you export LinkedIn post likers and commenters to generate leads. If you enjoyed this video, you can smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you want more LinkedIn lead generation technique, you can watch this video here about how to export LinkedIn event attendees. I hope you enjoyed the content and I see you in the next one. See ya.